In this second tutorial, we'll take a look at editing the Premiere Pro version of this template, so we'll open that up. All the editable elements are inside the Elements and Scenes folders. This project doesn't have an intro section, so if you want to have that in your final video, you will need to edit it in After Effects first and import it in Premiere Pro. In the 00 main sequence, we've placed some scenes and elements. Let's add another scene to this sequence. If you want to extend the duration, you will first need to open the scene and extend all the tracks inside. Inside the scene, you can choose between the table, the desk, or have them both turned off. Now let's import the presenter footage and the background file. Select File, Import, and choose your files. From the Effect Controls panel, you can change the size and the position of the presenter. Now let's add the background video on the video track. Next, let's take a look at the lower thirds. Open up the lower third sequence to edit it. Double click on the title track to edit the texts. If you want to add your logo, import it into the project. And drag it into the video free track. Next, go to the effect window. and add the cross-dissolve effect. Finally, let's take a look at rendering this project. Select the 00 main sequence and choose File, Export, Media. Choose Format QuickTime, Preset, HD 1080p, 29.97 frames per second. Click Next to Output Name to set the, des to set the destination path of your file then just click export. Thank you for watching this tutorial and good luck with this project.